Alright guys, so we are on part 3 of Queen Niger and Chris Sell's case. As you guys know, a source came basically saying that Queen Niger allegedly could have broke the law or broke the law by holding CJ, basically giving information to a channel called Alexandra. Alexandra released that video sharing her information that the source gave her, which Queen Niger ended up responding on live, sharing her side of the whole situation of what happened. Because a lot of people were surprised that Queen Niger was letting CJ see Chris again. But there was a lot more to the story that a lot of people didn't know. Now, I'm sorry for this late video. I know this video is so, so, so late. That's why you need to smash the like button and hit the subscribe with notification so you don't miss out on my future uploads, okay? <laughs> I've been traveling, I'm in San Diego at the moment. I recently did a collaboration with Davo, so make sure to check out our videos. The links will be in the pinned comment section below. Go check that out, I I even got something on my vlog channel. So let's into the drama. Anyway, this time in this video, the reason why it took so long is because of what I mentioned before and also I wanted to collaborate with a lawyer. I got really fed up of listening to everyone's opinion. I'm not a lawyer, so I'm just like, y'all, I don't, I don't even know how to do this. I'm not a lawyer. What do I do? What's really good about this, she doesn't watch Queen Niger or Chris Sell, so this is unbiased opinion from a lawyer. Hi, my name's Patricia. I'm a vegan YouTuber, Australian qualified lawyer, and a good friend and associate of Martin Lewis's. So before we get into this, please note that even though I am an admitted solicitor of the New South Wales Supreme Court in Australia, this in no way constitutes legal advice. Martin basically just asked me for my opinion on this current situation we're about to delve into, but it is in no way legal advice. It's just my opinion. It is merely my informed opinion has someone with a legal background and some experience in civil disputes. Firstly though, I just want to say that I'm somewhat appalled by certain tea channels just spreading false information, false and misleading information about certain parties to this case. It's basically these kind of big tea channels that are spreading false information about the parties involved. As we all saw, there was that video by the source claiming to expose Queen Neja, saying that she was trying to control CJ and stop him from seeing Chris, his dad, and all sorts of things that just weren't backed up by evidence. So I just wanted to draw your attention to that first, these big drama channels, just blatantly spreading really false information, information without evidence on certain individuals that are parties to this case. It is unacceptable and I would argue a symptom of a sick, toxic society that continues to spread false information. I mean, it's fair enough if you want to raise concerns or speculate, you know, without having any evidence, there's always room for that. Speculation, voicing concerns in the community that you're in. As I said, there's always room for that, but there's techniques, you know, there's certain strategies you have to employ in your language and what you say um, to make sure you cover yourself and make sure you're, you're doing things orally and legally. So for example, there's things you can do. You can use the word allegedly if you're not 100% sure if you've just heard this rumor or something like that. So allegedly it has been said that Queen Neja is currently doing this. I'll just make a disclaimer. Currently there is no hard evidence to show. However, rumors have surfaced. I'm not really seeing that happening a lot of the time with these channels. Anyway, the vegan lawyer, make sure to go to her channel, subscribe to her channel, link to her channel will be in the pinned comment section below. Now after the videos and everything that went out, some court documents were leaked between the whole thing with Chris Sells and Queen Niger. Chris Sells being the defendant and Queen Niger being this word. I forgot what it is, but I'll post the descriptions of what they are here. Now, I don't know if they're real or not. I'm assuming they are real. I do feel they are real. I could be wrong. Shout out to Melanie Monroe because she is the one who released those receipts. I'm not sure if, if someone gave it to her. I really don't know. Someone said Queen put it on Twitter, but I looked, I couldn't see it. Maybe she deleted it. I don't know. So now that that's out of the way, let me give you my opinion on this current issue that we're dealing with, with Queen Neja, Chris Sales, and their son, CJ. Basically, we can't take anything seriously that previous drama channels have put out because they haven't been backed up by court documents, any kind of you know legal materials or any kind of evidence. Um, so we should put that aside for now. However, some other YouTube channels have come out with what looks like legitimate leaked court documents. Okay, so let's assume that these leaked court documents are legitimate and they do look legitimate to me. Okay, so according to the leaked court documents, Queen Neja has primary custody of CJ and she hasn't violated any terms of the agreement or she hasn't illegally, hasn't been said that she has illegally tried to keep their son from Chris 
sales. So there is absolutely no evidence to show that she has infringed on the rights of Chris to see CJ, assuming he had any rights, visitation rights to begin with. So according to the Superior Court of Felton County, State of Georgia, Family Court Division, Queen Naja has primary custody of CJ. Chris is entitled to one visitation, which would have taken place on September 22nd, 2020. And there was other rules stipulated in these documents. It's also interesting to note that there were other rules and information in these leaked documents, such as that CJ was only allowed to be on YouTube if it was family-friendly content. And also if there was a third party caretaker taking care of CJ that Chris appointed, that Chris wanted to have, it would have to be approved by Queen Naja first. I'm pretty sure Queen Naja has expressed regret that this information has come about. Um, she's not sure how it was leaked, although she has suspicions. But I would say that there is a lot of people acting unethically here and possibly illegally as well from the drama T channels that are spreading misleading and false information. With the big channels it's boring on and could possibly even constitute, you know, defaming kind of material. Whoever leaked these court documents more likely than not broke the law as well. Uh, so there's several, you know, matters going on here. Legally speaking, not just this custody issue with um, Queen Naja and uh, and Chris Sale. So that's basically all we know about this current situation, what the court documents have said. Everything else is just conjecture. All these other people talking, social media people, uh, without any evidence, that's all it is. It's just speculation. It's just rumors and we can't take them at face value. So that's all we know. Queen Naja has primary custody of CJ. Chris Sales is allowed a, a limited visitation rights recently. And then all those other rules that we went through about YouTube and about third party caretaking. That's what we know. So as I always say, in any given scenario, people are entitled to their own views on the situation, but no one is entitled to their own facts on the situation. Those happen to be the facts and now they're written in law. Also keep in mind, this is all the information we know. This is just a couple of lead court documents. We don't know what other hearings may have taken place. We don't know what else was talked about. Uh, we don't know what we don't know what else was talked about in that Zoom meeting, you know, other meetings they may have had, other documents in relation to this case. That's all we know. It's just a one small slice of the pie. Okay, so that's it for me. For me, I wanted to thank Martin for having me on his channel and just express that it's always a pleasure to engage with his energetic and vibrant audience. So yes, as you can see, as you can hear, there is no evidence to back up the claims that Alexandra got from her source. I actually feel that Alexandra got played by her source. As you see, this source is going to people that um, are more on Chris Sell's side. TNK Squad, Alexandra, definitely are more on Chris Sell's side and do seem a lot more biased. But Alexandra goes in on Queen a lot more, so it wouldn't surprise me why the source, whoever it is, will go to her. Now, we do not know who the source is. People keep saying that it's on Chris's side, but for all we know, it can be on Queen Nigel's side. I know a lot of you guys seen my video of me giving my theory on who the source was, but hey, that's a theory, you know, it's not set in concrete. But I definitely think the source is playing Alexandra and giving her inaccurate information because again, there's no proof to say that did went down and that's what happened. And it definitely sounds like Queen Nigel's being a lot more mature about this whole situation by getting the courts, getting stuff written down by a lawyer so it's like caught documented you feel me after she got the law involved i don't know if you guys noticed it looks like chris sells has taken a lot more responsibility now it doesn't seem like he's doing stupid sh like he was before I about you but i sense a little change in chris sells it's the court situation so who knows maybe this will clear his act up and he'll be like you know what i really need to show the court that i can be a responsible father that i can do this but yeah that's my whole thoughts on the whole situation let me know what you think in the comment section below if you want to hear you guys opinion smash the like button make sure you hit the subscribe button with notifications and i'll see you guys in another drama video